everybody, welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Kevin, my daughter Kaya, and my wife Rachel. Hey guys. And we're back from our vacation. We went to Florida, we went to the beach, we went to Disney World. <laughs> yeah. And we're back. It's never felt better to get home. That was the longest we've ever been away from yeah. the farm. Long time. Seven days. And we were about 18 hours away. So it was a long drive, but it was well worth it. We had good family experience relaxed a little bit and had a lot of fun with keeping it dutch family and relaxed <laughs> it was non-stop walking and i don't remember all that. relaxing but anyways we got home and uh if you guys remember the kitty cats we got uh kaya got a kitty cat and caleb got a kitty cat and kaya's cat was blossom and the day before we left kaya and i took her cat blossomed to the vet because it wasn't acting right and it was kind of acting sick and stuff and the, the doctor determined it had a uh, respiratory infection so we got some medicine and we were doctoring it and then my dad stayed here at the house the whole time tending to the animals and all that so when we were gone he started doctoring the, the cat for us and unfortunately he called us the next day and told us the cat didn't make it so Kaya was a little bit upset right sissy? Yeah. So we, we returned home to the farm with one less animal. Uh, do you want to tell them a little bit about Blossom? Yeah, she was just like, her eyes were just, when we got her, her eyes started getting like snotty and puffy. And then her nose got really snotty. I don't know why I said her eyes did. Well, her eyes did kind of Yeah, they kind of got like gunky. But yeah. we learned a lot of lessons from it, didn't we? Yes. You were a big girl. You helped me take her to the vet. Mm -hmm. And when the veterinarian asked what's wrong, you told her everything. And you, you did the right thing just as a pet owner would do. And we tried to get her help and she just didn't make it, unfortunately. Yeah. And also when we picked her up, she would always meow like, She's hurting a yeah. lot. Right. She just got real sick, didn't mm -hmm. she? But we tried, and Papa tried everything we could. Mm -hmm. uh, her Papa actually buried her right over here. By our right other there. cat. We got another. That's a cat grave. Actually, we had a, yes. cu a cat, Buttercup. And uh, the weird story is, Buttercup, our last cat, passed away the day before we went to Florida the last time, which was like three years ago. Yeah. So it's just unfortunate, but. What did Mama find when we got back? Okay. What did we find? Smee ate a whole bunny. <laughs> well, that's not what I'm talking about. Hold on a second. Sorry. So this is a story I was fixing to tell you, but I was going to let her tell a different one. So my dad called us a day or two before we were coming back, and he said, That cat... You ask her. She told... Caleb's little cat, Smee, got into the garden and found a bunny rabbit, a baby bunny rabbit. And it wasn't that little. It was the same size as the one that Skeeter found. Yeah. And Those he got, bunnies don't stand a chance. Mm -mm. Smee got the baby rabbit and uh, took it into the garden shed where he lives over there. And he pretty much started eating it. So he now the baby rabbits got Skeeter and they got Smee, Smee to deal oh, with. So anyways... That mama rabbit will not quit having babies in there. But anyways, what did mama find? What else? What else did we find? As soon as I got back home, what did we find? For you. What did mama find for you? New kittens. New kittens. So hopefully in the next, maybe today, I don't know, in the next day or two, hopefully we'll have another kitten for Kaya and it'll give me something to play with. Mm-hmm. But we just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I see Smee come out right now. He's He's actually oh on the prowl. Look he at is this. Hilarious. Hold he, on, sis. Hold on. He is so feisty. He sees Skeeter over there. Look at this. They become partners. He yeah. sees Skeeter over there and he's stalking him. Watch this. Let's see if he'll. Uh... Oh. uh oh, he's seen that though. So... Um... He can't make his mind up. Do I want to play with Skeeter or do I want to come back? Oh, there he goes. He's going to get Skeeter. Get him, Smee. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Skeeter said, let's hey, go to Skeet. him. What do you know, Smee? Hey, Smee. So, guys, in today's video, we're going to give you a little garden update. We'll give you a farm update. All the animals are doing well. Uh, we didn't have any other losses, so nobody's sick or nothing like that. We got to give an update on Leesky. That dog is getting huge. He looked like a whole hey, another dog when we got home. 
so much while we were gone. We were gone a whole <laughs> week, and I'm telling you, he looks like a different dog. He looks like he gained a foot in length, and his legs. And his just, height. Yes, it is crazy. I am just amazed. Come here, Skeeter. Come here. All right, come here, sis. Let's see this. Excuse me. It's me, loves chasing Skeeter around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, his, look at his little uh. What is that, Skeeter? Is that your buddy? They played a long time last night. They did. They chased and went all around the garden, like round and round. Get him, uh -oh. Smee. Uh oh, what'd you find, Skeeter? Uh oh. Aww, little bird. I didn't even see that. I didn't either till he. Okay, looks like we got another loss. Uh -oh. No, Skeeter, that's nasty. That's not our loss as well, far as well, our farm it animal. Is. It is. It's nature's loss, but... Ah, Smee! <laughs> so, Smee is a... Oh. He is a... Uh, Should I let him have this? No. He is yeah. a feisty little kitten. He's meaner than a snake. He lo he loves playing. If you just sit there and kind of just sit there and do your own thing, he will sneak up to you and he'll grab you and... <laughs> just like he's doing the kayak. You want to see how high Skeeter can jump? Ready, Skeet? Skeeter. Come on. Do it. He, ain't gonna do it. he just jumped up right when I had this up here. Be careful, sissy, don't step on him. All right, quit playing with the dead bird. That's gross. All right, so we're talking about Leesky. Let's come check out Leesky and the boy goat. <laughs> here, boy. Oh, here he comes. Look at this big dog. Oh, oh my gosh. What do you know, Leesky? Look how big Leesky is. Maybe Look at this. He's been in the pond. Yeah, he's soaking wet. <laughs> You've been in the pond. I don't blame you. If I was a he's dog, been in the pond. I'd be in the pond. No, too. he's a good boy. Down. No, no jumping. Shoo, man. You, you stink. stink. He's more like a pig or something. Ooh. You stink. He is huge now. Yes, he is. Sit. Leesky. Sit. He's, he's as big as the goats. Hey, come here, Leesky. No. Leesky. No. No. Come here, Leesky. No jumping. Sit. 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 Hey, we had this down before I left. Yeah, we ain't been working Good on it. Good boy. Good boy. So all the boys are still here. Everybody's doing well. Um, it's starting to get dry. As you can see, this grass. We still got tons of uh, fall grass all back in there. They still got the leaves and all that shade. God, he's huge. But the grass is starting him. to get dry. Look how tall he's gotten. Yeah, I know. I'm good. just amazed. And one week. Feels like we've been gone a month, though. Doesn't it? Good thing you didn't forget us. The breeze feels awesome over here in the shade. I know that. It is hot. It's a regular hot Oklahoma day. It is summertime now, so. Yeah, you can see how big this boy is. My gosh, you've grown. Clean a little goat. You're filthy, too. Clean a little goat. Everybody's Look at, is that Granger or Earl? Look at this little beard he's getting. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tiny little beard. <laughs> little goatee there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go check on the pigs. Alright, so all the pigs are over here taking a nap underneath that shade tree. Oh, at least he's going to go say hi to them. Let's see what they do. Nope, he's oh. just going to go lay down. Alright, let's go in. So we already checked everybody last night. We actually got back last night in the evening time. Six o'clock. But we're doing our update video today. We were too exhausted last night to yeah, do anything sure. other than check everybody and chill out. Hey guys. Oh goodness. Lisky said, I want to give them piggies a hug. Here to come. Pork pack. Pork pack. We got the quack pack, the pork pack. Nope. Hey. Oh, you just got me all dirty already. Oh. It's all right. I've got stuff to do outside today. Oh, don't turn your yakking on me. Hi. I don't try to bite. Look at this. I'm a rubbing post. <laughs> rubbing up on me. Scratching the back. So this little guy right here has not been growing much. The other ones are all grown good. They're all different ages except for these three. Get back! You guys! <laughs> yeah, they'll, they're uh, very curious pigs. I don't want dirty. These, these pigs are growing out awesome. They're doing great. They, they got, like this. Oh yeah, they love getting scratched. 
their automatic water and feeder has been very, very helpful, especially when you're on vacation. They love getting their back scratched. One at a time. And the best thing about it is they still got their pond, and look at there, it still has water in it. So they have a swimming hole. Come on. All right, now. here they come. Come on now. Get you all filthy. Oh, here comes the boys. All right, let's go check on the other goat. <laughs> so guys, I just cannot get over how tall his legs are getting and how long his body is. He is just stretching out like crazy. He's a good boy. Yeah, he is a good boy. Papa had a good report on him, said he did awesome. He didn't have to get on to him at all. Nope, he wasn't chasing no goats, chickens, or nothing else. Okay, so we're out here in the Kiko Spanish pen, and remember all that lush green clover we had? Now everything's starting to kind of dry out because we haven't had much rain in the last 10 days or so. But the forecast shows a chance of rain every day for like the next week. And uh, what's funny is one sock found her a nice resting place. What's funny? What I said, what's funny is we went to Florida and the weather was actually not i mean it was hot but not like blistering hot here it was uh it rained every evening and and stormed and they had tons of rain down there and here we didn't get a drop of rain and it was in the 90s every day like blistering hot though wasn't it yes it was so we come back and everything is dry and crazy how fast it changes and it was cloudy in florida the whole time Look at them goats. They come up to you to say hi and then they... I think they're wanting you to hold a limb down for them. Can you this grab one? This is my buddy. Yeah, she's a good girl. You want a limb? I'll see if you get one I can read. Even these oak leaves are kind of showing signs of... Oh. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. Oh, that bark just got come. in my eye. That just broke right off. That's how dry it is. Everybody gets a snack. Well, I can't pull it down very far. One sock's always my buddy. She she knows to follow me. I'll give her food. What do you want? Huh? What are you doing? Good girl. And you got baby drinking milk still. Taylor Swift's baby. Then you got two of the new Kiko babies right back here. Everybody's doing wonderful. These goats, the drought doesn't really affect them much as long as they still got stuff to eat. So they'll be fine. They take the heat very well cold very well so i'm trying to come out here to show you guys the quack pack but look at this somebody won't quit following me and attacking me this vicious kitty cat all right here's the quack pack let's see here let's see if we can see any tail feathers growing up tell if they're boys or girls. Oh, the one on the very right is definitely a boy. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, see how his tail's okay. curling up? And there might be more than, I think there's, I don't know. Two. I see two. I see at least two, maybe three. Oh man, I maybe see four. <laughs> don't be saying that. I do. What do you think about the ducks, me? Hey. He's like, I'm gonna climb this tree. Nope. Oh, he... He is climbing the tree. <laughs> You're so cute. Don't be getting stuck up in no tree. I don't want to rescue you. You're so cute. So the quack pack is doing well. Nothing has harmed them since they've been free range in our yard. And while we're out here, let's go take a look at the bees. So right now we are up to four beehives. Um, these three here, that one right there in the middle right there, that one doesn't have any bees in it at this time, but we got one way back here in the field that's got bees in it. 
So the bees are doing good. I need to check them again here pre pretty quick. Hopefully we'll be harvesting some honey soon. That'll be great. Can't wait for that. And of course we can't forget the big man. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? You hanging out up here where it's cool? No, no. I can't see your face, buddy. There he is. What are you doing? So Mojo sleeps up here on the concrete in the daytime during these hot summer days because it keeps him nice and cool. Rachel cut his hair, shaved his belly. He's doing a lot better staying cool. And uh, this is one thing that we do. We keep fresh water on every side of our house. We try to keep it in the shade or at least to where there's water in the shade at some point of the day. So you got four sides of a house. Two sides of your house should always be in the shade no matter what, you know, because of the directions and the way the sun shines. So we try to keep a gallon of water on every side of the house, fill it up every day so they have fresh water. And that's not just for Mojo, that's for any animal that's out here, the birds, the chickens, the ducks, anybody in our yard. Even We've even caught rabbits and squirrels trying to get a drink. Just like we got those wild uh, cottontail rabbits. The mama rabbit over there with the babies in the garden. We've caught her getting a drink out of the dog's water pail. So it's just good to have fresh water for anybody. But especially these big dogs like Mojo. They can drink uh, about three gallons a day when it's hot like it is today. Um, there's been times where we've have filled that gallon bowl up. That pail, whatever you want to call it. Three times in a day because he has just drunk it. Drink, drink, drink. And uh, that's very important because those dogs get very hot with their two layers of hair and all that so keep plenty of fresh water for all your animals okay now to the pico goat pen hey guys. if you guys remember before we left we were doctoring ebony her eye was the one that had the problem we don't know what it was exactly but let's see how she's doing last night she looked like she's made a full recovery this is her right here her eye is still pretty much it's open and she's using it now, but you can kind of see it just slightly, maybe her eyelid has a little bit of a discoloring maybe, but she's using her eye, she can see perfectly fine. It looks a little cloudy, is it, that right it might, one? Yeah, it might be a little cloudy, but it's better. it is so much better than it was before we left. So if you guys didn't catch that video, our black goat Ebony, she had a bunch of discharge coming from her right eye and she couldn't open it there for a couple days. So we got some uh, solution from Tractor Supply and we started spraying it in her eye three times a day. And uh, we did that until we went on vacation. We come back and it's way better. And then Shadow says, Dad, I'm glad you're back. I needed something to scratch my head on. Look at this. We love Shadow. Shadow, you know what? I got a little sunburnt and uh, I got some skin coming off my leg, so that actually feels pretty good, girl. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. You scratch me, I'll scratch you. Hey! I didn't say pull my hair. Did you see that? <laughs> Ow, she bit my leg hair. He said I want to take a little nibble. <laughs> you I want... goofy girl. They're mad for us being Chip, gone. you look like you've grown too, buddy. You are uh, big. He's loving on all the ladies. He is the ladies' it's too man. too hot for that, buddy. <laughs> Look at his hair on his back. Look, he's loving. He, you need some love? Let me hug you too. <laughs> and I don't know where it's at, but my mockingbird is singing to us somewhere. So uh, let's go see if your little chickens grew much. Alright, so now we're out here in the teenage chicken pen, and these guys are, and girls, are getting huge. This water has been awesome. Dad said he only had to fill it up one time the whole week we were gone, so that was a good plus. And this feeder, I don't think he ever had to fill it up. We filled it up last night. It's good to go again. That thing has been awesome. What do you think? I love it. It's such a time saver it is a time saver and this i mean that's as dirty as it's been i need to get in there and clean it out yep. but that's actually you still see it has tons of clear water on top just all that debris kind of settles down in the middle in the bottom but that's the chicken that attacked me yeah i don't know about that chicken i like her hey turkey what's your turkey's name walt walt and matilda and matilda hey which one is the rooster where is he at 
Oh, well, there's a couple of roosters. I, I think got a big that, white one right there is a rooster. This one right here is the one that was crowing, I'm pretty sure. That one right there? Yeah, that big one. <laughs> Not you, Walt. You won't do it now. That one right there. With, yeah. See its tail feathers? It's definitely. Yeah. And that one behind it's yeah. a rooster. And so is that little white mani right there. I think we got several roosters. That's Pedro Jr. What are we going to do with all the roosters? Uh, Give them away or sell them? And dump them? No. Just saying. <laughs> These ain't, are not going to have uh, much we'll, meat on we'll them. We'll sell them, probably what we'll do. Okay, so I see two of my little Americanas that I we bought at yeah. Orchland. And but I only, rock. I only have one barred rock. The other two escaped, and I don't know where and they, they went. They escaped, and they went straight into the woods, <laughs> and I'm sure the predators have got them because Mojo can't do much over that direction. Yeah. But we do got a lot of bannies. Uh, look at this little Pedro Jr. right there, the white one. Hopefully he survives. He uh, got outside the pen and he wants back in here, but we just can't catch him right now. No, I've caught him and put him back in here and they continue to well, go back out. I think he's big enough now. If we can catch him again, I think we can keep him in here. Maybe. He's doing well out there though. Well, he is. I just don't want him to get killed by a hawk. Well, good luck catching him. Yep. Me and Kaya caught him like two or three times and put him in here. <laughs> There's a rooster. That's an Americana right there. He's probably the biggest one in this whole pen. And uh, we probably need to try to get him outside the pen here pretty quick. He's kind of been picking on some of them. But I don't want him to get killed by the uh, predators. Because the aerial predators here like to pick out these young chickens because they're not smart enough to run and hide when they see the shadows. And not just the young chickens, but especially the ones that are bright white like that. Yeah, for sure. They don't have no camo. They have no camouflage and they're very easily picked off. Usually. <laughs> Our very bright white chickens never last long here. But you do got a hen that matches him. Look at there. That's a hen that matches him. They're both perfectly white. But they're not all... And they got their beards. Yeah. They're not full. No, they're not 100% Americana, but they've no. got the jeans and the traits. Right. they got the beard. And that could mean that they're going to lay the, the green or blue egg. What? What? Look at her eye. She's got one blue eye. I just noticed that. Is it blue or has it got a problem? Well, oh. she's looking at you, so I don't know. Maybe she just can't see out of that eye. Maybe not. What in the world? Yeah, I think you she... think they got pecked? I don't know. This eye's Probably. good. Yeah, it looks like she's got a problem with it. I don't think chickens have blue eyes. I don't know. I think oh. it just has a problem. Poor thing. Well, hold on, hold her and I want to see if she can see. Nope. Well she, well, she don't do on either one. I think she can still see, but it just looks different. That's the second chicken in here I've noticed with an eye problem, and I think it, it's probably because they peg each other. It could be, but hopefully we can get them out of here soon. Oh, I didn't hurt you. So, I didn't hurt you. You made her cry. Don't she said, pick me back up. Don't complain. Let's see if she'll let me get her again. Yeah, wait, 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 I'm too hot. So we knew we were going on vacation and we tried to set everything up as easy as possible for my dad to be able to take care of everything and do daily checks in the morning, evening, whenever he wanted to come out, ride the ranger around and do the checks. Him and Skeeter actually rode the ranger around the fence perimeters and all that, making sure no goats got their head stuck in the fence. But one other thing we do is we got this other pasture down here in our bottom and uh, our house is right there, but once you're at our house, you cannot see down below this hill. So one thing we did, do what? <laughs> you can't see right here from no, our house. No, you cannot. So one thing we did is we closed the gate, and you can tell, look how much higher all that weed is in the grass than it is over here. They have not been in here in about two weeks now. Can you get it open? I don't know. Oh, oh there's, there's a rock. A rock. So they'll be happy to have this. We'll open this up and they'll have more uh, vittles to eat. Come on, goats. And having just this little bit of extra has really cut down on our parasite problem that we used to have over here. Yes, it has. Big time. But this is uh, some extreme terrain. It is not really good for anything but goat pasture. So we'll let them back in here and they'll have a fresh set of uh, grass and weeds to eat. Okay, so Rachel just actually got a text that one of the kittens might be ready for Kaya. So that's perfect timing. So we were fixing to end this video, but we started it on a bad note. So let's 
I say it on a bad note. It was bad news, I guess you can say. We lost an animal, which we always hate to report, but we try to keep it real with you guys and tell you the good and the bad. We told you the bad, and now she's fixing to get a, another kitten. She already knows about it, but she didn't know it was going to be today. So we're fixing to head over there right now. So let's keep the video rolling, and we'll show you that process of the happiness side of it because she has been upset the whole trip in disney world she she'd just be sitting there and then she would just start bawling and say i miss blossom and this and that but anyways hopefully now we can kind of help close that chapter and heal that part of the sadness poor kaya she loves animals so much and it's like something always happens yeah and we but tried that's life so on a hard farm. it is and farm our, kids are tough our kids understand that but it's yeah. never easy it's not it doesn't make it any easier they have to go through a lot of um, trials life changes when living on a farm um they yeah. learn real quick about life and death yeah i mean you can wake up and every one of your animals could be dead from predators or whatever you never know yeah. freak stuff happens but unfortunately this cat she really liked the cat she's been wanting one for years and years and We've yeah. been waiting and they finally get one and had it like two weeks and he got sick and passed away. But let's focus on the positive. Hopefully yeah. we'll be coming home with a new cat in a minute. So we'll see you in yeah. the... Okay, we just got back. Kaya, what you got there, baby? I got a new kitten. A new kitten. We think it's a girl. Yes. And what'd you name her? Grace. Grace. That's a pretty good name. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but she's gray and white and black and she's got the uh tabby stripes all down there i think that's what they're called Aww. and we just pulled up and we noticed that smee was over here with the ducks <laughs> all right let's take them to the shed and we'll let them meet each other let's take them around the house where they're going to yeah. be living you guys think they'll get along maybe maybe, maybe. she's purring right now yeah okay Yeah, they're friends. We'll just have to let them get used Give to each other. Give me that house. Room. Smee, you're wild. He knocked <laughs> this house down. He's been tearing everything up in here. Lord. So they're they're really close to the same size. Kaya, are you happy? Yeah. Look. Uh oh. He's like, let me chew on you a minute. That's good. She she'll feel more at home now. She's now that she sees another cat, and plus he's been <laughs> upset since his sister passed away. They're about. I mean, she's he's beautiful. Don't be mean. Look, the sizing. Yeah, they're really close. I mean, she's all... Um, that was perfect because it was actually another cat here, local. And, you know, cats are pretty easy to find, I like to say. Me, be so, nice. <laughs> You're ornery. Be but anyway, nice. show her where the water and food is. She's probably thirsty. Yeah. Very thirsty. Hey, children, Smee, go dump this drink? out, will you? Will you go dump that out? Don't dump it in here. It's me now. You can't just chew on her. Okay, now we can end the video. and We're going to end it on a positive note with good news. Kaya's got a smile on her face now. Right? Yeah. We got another cat. Hopefully it all works out. And uh, they get along. I think they will. She's in there exploring already. Smee's going to show her the ropes of all the farm here at Hidden Heights Farm. Yeah. Caleb really likes the cat, right? Mm -hmm. Smee, he's been a good cat so far, just a little feisty, but that's okay. Because yes. they all, every animal has their own characteristics, yes, right? Yes, and Smee has somebody to play with. Yep. Yep. Caleb was pretty upset when Blossom passed away because he's like, Oh, Smee don't have nobody to play with now. Yeah, <laughs> so Kai's got a smile on her face and that's what matters most. Oh, here, here comes, comes Smee. So Smee. Oh, here she comes. Is she coming too? Oh, me. She's not too sure. She's still got to get used to it. She's looking around. Man, she's but, pretty. Yeah, she's beautiful. But anyways, guys, we're going to end this video now. Thank you so much for uh, staying tuned in to today's video. I know it's kind of random. It was just a little video update. Uh, we're still recuperating from our drive back home. But it was wonderful to be able to go on vacation and spend time with the family and just to get away from the farm for a little bit. But now we are back to reality. We got all kinds of stuff we got to do. We got some projects coming up we want to knock out and some different things we're wanting to try. So <laughs> you hear the cats crying in the background. 
But anyways, guys, thank you so much. We love you guys. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Down below, click that button. Like this video, leave us a comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. We have kittens to go Bye. play with. Bye. Yeah, see you guys. Bye.